Trust me, I get you completely. You're stuck in high school and you don't want some boring job that you'll sit at mindlessly. You want a job that you can care about, so you want a car job. Well, here are the best jobs connected to the car world that you can get as a high schooler. I have this list broken up into two categories, entry level and skill required. I'll also have another video about car businesses that anyone can start today, so if that sounds more your speed, make sure to check that one out. The most important thing to keep in mind with all of this is that you really have to look around to where you live. If you can find a drag strip, racetrack, automotive museum, aftermarket parts manufacturer, or anything like that, that's a fantastic option that very few high schoolers have, so definitely take advantage of it. We're going to start this off with the entry level jobs. These are entry level, but for three of these jobs, you will need a driver's license, but most older high schoolers have one. Number one is car detailing. Everyone loves a super clean car, so they're willing to pay for this type of stuff. Car detailing requires hours of backbent work, but some people love the satisfaction of cleaning, and you never know what's going to come rolling up to the lot. Entry level job number two is driving for Uber or Lyft. If you like dealing with drunk people and those who are too lazy to walk five blocks, congrats, you're hired. Pick your own hours and choose how far you're willing to drive. This one really all depends on you. Next up, we have being a valet. Maybe you want to get some cheeky driving time behind some high-end whips. Being a valet will give you some serious standing time and you'll kind of have to hustle to do well, but it could get you into the driver's seats of some cool cars. Last up for the entry level jobs is being a delivery driver. You can get paid to drive with whatever music you want and the smell of pizza or whatever food you want to deliver. If you want to go this route, but you're not that interested in the food industry, there are other types of delivery jobs you could get. You just got to look around. On to the jobs that require a little bit of skill. If you have an in for any of these jobs, like if a relative owns the business or something, I would definitely take advantage of that because it's an awesome opportunity. The first job here that requires some skill is automotive painting. Unless it's a very high-end shop, you'll probably see more average cars that need collision repair, but automotive painting is a skill that many people wish they had, and if you can learn about it and get some experience, you can be positive that your cars will always look top-notch without you having to pay someone else for the work. Next up, we have being a mechanic. This is kind of like the painting and can set you up with really useful experience that you can start a business with or just take advantage of whenever something's wrong with your own car. Many places require you to have some certification or really strong work history, but like I said, if you can get a job as anyone's apprentice or just working under someone who you already know, that's an awesome opportunity. Next up is being a car salesman, and yeah, it sounds bad, it can be really stressful, and personally, I don't think I would enjoy it, but it would allow you to see a huge variety of cars and to really know buying and selling better than anyone else. If prior to applying to this, you can get a job in some type of retail, then that's a good thing to have on your resume while applying for something like this. Finally, we have working at a vinyl wrap shop. This is a lot like the paint, but it's less common in most areas. While a paint shop might deal with more repairs, wrap companies generally deal with higher end cars, so if I had the choice between any of the jobs on here, I'd probably rank this one at the top. This is yet another position that can get you a really cool skill for the future. If you ever end up wanting to wrap your own car, you'll already know how to do it and you might even know where to buy the materials from. And you could always start your own business with this later on. Obviously, for the jobs here that require skills, you're definitely going to get paid a lot more than the ones that are entry level, but they're harder to get, which, you know, it kind of makes sense. There you have it. Those are the best jobs for high schoolers involving cars. Let me know in the comments if you've had any of these jobs and how it was for you, or if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. As always, if you enjoy this video, I'd really appreciate you tapping the like button. Make sure to subscribe for weekly automotive news, as well as my take on the good, the bad, and the funny parts of being a car enthusiast. I appreciate you all. Thanks very much for for watching. Have a great day.